Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison. Today we're going to be doing this Happily Never After Look Hansel and Gretel edition. So the idea behind this is the witch actually got her in the oven, and she got a little toasty. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy, and stay tuned if you'd like to see how I achieve this look. So I'm taking Prosade, and I'm applying it to the back of my prosthetics. I got my prosthetics from Monster Effects. I got it on Etsy, starting from the middle and working my way to the edges. And for best results, you want the glue to dry a little bit, so you want the prose to become clear before you apply the prosthetic down. After applying the prosthetic, you'll notice that you'll have a thin layer of flashing. So how I remove mine is acetone. There are some that you need 99% alcohol, there's some that you need acetone. So look at the prosthetic that you are using to find out what one. And I just dip a Q-tip in the acetone and I roll off the edges to create a more seamless edge. Now I'm applying the second prosthetic on my chest the same way that I adhered the first one. And make sure you be very, very careful around your eye area as well. Now you're done applying the prosthetic, let's move on to painting. I'm using an alcohol activated palette in a rose tone. 
as well as 99% alcohol to activate it. Now I'm using a chip brush. I'm spattering that rose shade all over the prosthetic as well as my skin just to create that nice rosy burnt skin look. So I'm using a chip brush in this spattering technique just to create more uneven skin texture because your skin isn't one solid shade. So with the chip brush, it creates little dots of different colors. So it looks more realistic. Now I'm running a skin tone just on the high points of the prosthetic. Going in with a red shade in the deep crevices of the prosthetic just to create some dimension in the look. Now I'm taking a paper towel and I'm just running that dark red shade throughout the face in a very uneven way and then I'm going to go back in with that skin tone on those high points because I realized before it wasn't red enough, it didn't have enough oomph to it. Going in with that skin tone once again on those high points of the face so you can actually see the texture within the prosthetic. just blending it out with the paper towel with some extra alcohol on it. Taking that red shade from before just to deepen it further. Going back in with a lighter skin tone shade in the spackling method. Going back in again just to further define some of those crevices that were covered up with the spackling.
that super light skin tone shade again on those high points. Now that the basis of the paint is done, we're going to move on to the eyes. So I'm taking a red shade and I'm applying that on the deepest points of the eye just to further deepen them so they look more sunk in and irritated. I'm going in on the other side just to add some of that irritation. I'm adding that same red shade on my nose, kind of in a contouring-like area, just to add some redness to the nose as well, as well as the corners of the mouth so they look more irritated. Now going in with a deeper red shade, to the inner corners of the eyes just to deepen it further. And I'm just touching up some of the areas that I feel that need to be deeper. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more from me. All my other social media links will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.